here with assistant coach Cheyenne Jarlier. Um, first of all, team started out a bit slowly, but did real well to fight back tonight. What did they do so much better in that second part of the first half and in the second half than from those first 10 minutes? Well, I think uh, they settled into the game. Um, obviously, I think uh, for the first 10 minutes, there was probably a little bit of complacency going on. Um, seeing the same team for the third, third game in a row uh, can lead to that. Um, I think the goal is kind of a bit of a wake-up call uh, that, you know, hey, we're in, a, we're in a match here and we need to buckle down, and I think that's what they did. Um, I think we started recognizing tactically what, what uh, Antigua was giving us. Uh, we were able to find some balls, uh, particularly uh, from the center off right. Uh, Sharia Dustin was playing some good balls over the top, and we were finding Izzy down the right channel and, um, and Peter on the curling runs. But I think the irony of it is I think the goal came off the left side with, uh, with Carlos with the good service in. Um, so I think we just we, we just started figuring things out, and one of the things we were talking about is is looking to to serve balls in a little bit earlier, and uh, I think as as a result of that, I think we got that goal. My bird's eye view from the broadcasting booth is that on Sunday night there was a lot more space, a lot more ability to create, mm. and also Antigua really had no answer to Peter Peter Byers running up top, and tonight that all seemed to kind of go away. The space was closed down and they were much better at dealing with buyers. What did they change tactically that made it so much different between the two last two games? I think it's the uh, I think it's the pitch quite honestly. I think you're, you're, you're dealing with a smaller field. Uh, it's a lot more easy to, to cover ground and stay more compact and I I think that's more more of what you're what you're seeing here. Um, things are closing down quicker. Um, players are being able to drop back in the spots a little bit quicker. Um, but more so, again, you know, maybe on, on Peter's part, maybe there wasn't uh, the sharpness that he needed tonight to kind of uh, uh, to deal with the, the, the close marking. All right, well, is there anything you saw tonight that needs to change before the road trip um, this weekend and the final two games back here against Richmond? Yeah, you know, I think for us, we gotta, we got to keep uh, stressing the mentality. Um, you know, we, we haven't found a level of consistency that uh, would indicate that we're a championship caliber team. We're, we're a playoff caliber team. We're a good team. Uh, and I think what we need to do is, is just uh, uh, have those, those moments where we're looking each other in the eye and saying, what, what am I bringing to the table here? And I, th I think we just got to be winners. And we got we to gotta, uh, go in with the right mindset. And I think if we do that, we'll, we'll get results. You had to deal with this tonight. You face Antigua again on Sunday for the fourth time, albeit at Antigua, mm -hmm. which changes things a bit. How do you prepare a side to play a team again for the fourth time? There's, there's nothing like, uh, well, obviously the fourth team. I mean, the fourth game that we're meeting them in, in about a week's time. That's, that's one thing. But the, the schedule is also difficult. The traveling and then uh, the depth that we're going to be able to bring. I, I think. Uh, you know, we're going to have to be very smart. Um, I think for us, we're going to go into Wilmington and, and really kind of get after that game. And uh, we're going to probably look to, to budget ourselves a little bit more against Antigua, uh, sit in and look to counter. Um, I think if we're concentrated and I think if we were presented with some opportunities and we, we just uh, uh, were a little bit more composed in the final third, I think we can, we can find some goals going into Antigua as well. So well, well, I think you have to be confident and you have to, like I said, you have to have the right mindset going into this. All right, well, thank you so much for your time and good luck on the road. Thanks, Mike. Thank you very much. I appreciate it.